Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and I'm going to demonstrate in this video how to combine PowerPoint slides from an outside source, from someone else's slideshow, into your own PowerPoint slideshow using PowerPoint 2013. On my screen, I have a slideshow that has already been created and formatted. A theme has been applied. So let's say that I want to incorporate several slides from a coworker's slideshow presentation into this one. First, I have to decide where I want those other slides to go, how I want to insert them. So in the thumbnails on the left, and by the way, you should know that I'm in normal view right now, the normal choice. Let's say that I want to insert several slides between this one, my slide 2, and my slide 3. So what I do is I point my mouse to the space in between slides 2 and 3 and I click once. When I see that dividing line there, it means that any slide I import will go there. That's the spot. So to do this, I have to go to the Home ribbon and I have to use the New Slide button. But be careful not to click the top part. You want to click the bottom part, which will give you additional choices. So I'm going to click New Slide. I'm going to bypass all of these because these are just additional slides from my own theme in my own slideshow. Instead, I'm going to go down to the bottom and use this one, Reuse Slides. Even though it says Reuse, it's talking about any other slides outside. So I'm going to click that choice, Reuse Slides, and the Reuse Slides pane appears on the right side. So right now I'm going to increase the size of my thumbnails over here by clicking and dragging the border to the right just a little bit. And on the right hand side, what I would do is click Browse to possibly open a browsing window to locate the other slideshow. And of course, it has to be s saved somewhere on my computer as a file. So I would browse for that by clicking here. Or I could also browse for it by clicking here, open a PowerPoint file. Either one of these will open the same window to browse and locate what you want. It just so happens that I've been working with another presentation before this one called Presentation 2. Presentation 2 is a completely different separate slideshow that I saved that someone else created and it's on my computer. So I'm going to just click on that one and it's showing me thumbnails of that other person's slideshow that's saved on my computer. So let's say I decide, oh and by the way I can click and drag to increase the width of the reuse slides pane, but it doesn't increase the size of the thumbnails. So it really doesn't matter much. So let's say I want to in, uh, insert just a couple of slides from here. Before I do that, I need to go down here to the bottom where it says Keep Source Formatting, and I need to decide, do I want these new f slides to look like mine do with the same theme colors and everything? Or do I want these slides that I'm going to import to keep their formatting, their source formatting? Meaning source formatting is how this looks from the other person's standpoint. So, so these have kind of a green and white theme. If I want to keep that green and white theme on these imported slides, I would click a check mark into this box. So now, if I click on any of these slides, they will import into the left-hand side between my thumbnails. So let's say I want to try this one. I'll just click on the first one. So there it is. Now if I want to click on the next one, I can, or I can click on a different one entirely down the list. And every time I click over here on the right, it will import that slide into my slideshow wherever I want it to go but I really don't think I like this theme that it came with, the source formatting, so I'm going to delete these two slides. I'm going to click on one and just press my delete key on my keyboard 
and then click on the other one I imported and delete that one. Now again I need to click between in the space between my two slides for where I want them to go, the new ones I'm inserting. And this time I'm going to remove the check mark from keep source formatting. What that'll do is it will allow these new slides when they come in to adopt my theme and look like mine. So again I'm going to try this first slide and there it is. It imported and it adopted my theme. The next one will do the same thing. There are a couple of caveats to remember about this though. Even though you're, you can import slides that adopt your theme, they will not adopt any animations you've got going or any special effects you've got going. If it hasn't if it's not in the theme, then it's not going to be on the new slides coming in. So you may have to go into these slides and apply any special effects that you want that are the same as the rest of the slides in your slideshow to keep continuity. Another thing you need to be aware of too is that there may be slides, if I scroll this list up a little bit, you'll see that some of these slides do not have the green and white theme on them. Some of them are just plain. Well, if I were to import one of these, you know, you have to be careful because sometimes they do or do not adopt your new theme. If you import a slide from someone else's slideshow into your slideshow and you decide to uh, not to keep the source formatting, you decide that you want it to adopt your theme and it won't do it, usually the cause is because those slides that you're bringing in were somehow manipulated or reformatted using fonts or colors not saved in its theme. So somebody messed around with the formatting of some of these slides and that may be why they may not adopt your theme when they come in. So just be aware that that might be the reason. And so that's how you can bring in slides from someone else's presentation into your slideshow.